Hey guys, good afternoon. Luis Rubio here again. Just wanted to do a quick walk around. This time it is on a 2019 RAV4. This is the limited model. This is the top of the line. This is as, as good as it gets. It, via trim levels, this one is the blackout package. So you can tell right away the emblems are dark. This one is the front wheel drive model. We do not have an all wheel drive in stock, but I really wanted to do a walk around on this one. I just sat in this car for the first time yeah, 30 minutes ago. So I'm as, as familiar as you guys are with it, but I did learn a couple of things and uh, it does have a huge amount of difference between the previous model that was out in 2016 went in until 2018 these just started hitting the lots and you can tell right away completely different animal whole new technology it's got the newest of the new that you can imagine from toyota in regards to safety convenience technology there's so much things guys this one one of my favorite things about this car specifically that now that i'm back here i might as well show you it does have a foot activated lift gate which is other manufacturers do it but one of the things i love about toyota is they don't necessarily come out with the newest things first but somehow some way i'm very loyal to toyota so i can safely say they they perfect it which that, that's my way of defending toyota but to op open this up you just swing your foot right on the bottom and you can see it right away you can see the backup camera right back there. Also, another thing with this this car, guys, that really caught my attention, it, it has a it has a sensor to where if it senses that you're stopping it or you're uh, stopping from on its track, it'll stop. It won't keep going. It won't, you know, try to power through it, which is amazing. Another thing that they did is so and now you can press the button, of course, to go ahead and close it, or you can just simply pull it down a tad bit and then it continues to do the rest of it for you. I think that's amazing, guys. On a car that's a core vehicle that sells 350,000 units a year, geez, Toyota really did it with this one. They completely changed the back. Complete, they, they actually put a nice spoiler. I personally think it's beautiful. Actually, let me go back to here because there's one thing in here you guys can barely see it. It's got a little camera in there, which I'll get to later. It's one of the coolest perks that I just seen on this car. But if you keep walking around, the fenders are different, the wheels, it's got 19 inches. This is the limited model, it does have chrome. You expect chrome on a limited model. You can also see there's cameras right here on the side. And that's actually for the 360 degree camera. So it's got that, as mentioned, 19 inch chrome wheels. You've got fog lights integrated. You've also got sensors all across the front as well. The, the lights are actually HID, they're, they're the high definition so and it's got the, the daytime running lights as well it's 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 as good as it gets in regards to visibility you got stand eight standard airbags in this car as well passenger knee airbags this one specifically has a jbl premium audio but um let me go ahead and open everything up so you guys can check it out see what you guys think oh what a nice gift from someone that's neat so this one, I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, it's probably because I'm a little younger and uh, the, the interior doesn't really caught out, catch out my attention, but it does look great. Once you're sitting inside of it, it, it goes great with this combo, especially what Toyota did now. They kind of separated the, the two, the bottom and the top by this little part. And there's other packages that they have where it's all color, the same color. It's pretty nice. I, I personally, this is Blizzard Pearl color. So this is, this is an all time favorite. But going back here, again, guys, I'm five foot nine. The seat in the passenger is all the way back. I've still got about two inches of space on a good day. So there's still a lot of space back here. You've got a couple of these 2.1 uh, fast charging units back here. And you've also got two in the front, along with a couple of things that I'll show you. You have your your air back here. You don't have your own controls as this is a it's an SUV that it only seats five. But you can tell, look around, it's... <sighs> yeah, takes the breath away. You got this little pocket right here. It's no big deal, but good for a couple beverages. One thing, guys, one thing with Toyota, it's, it's the small things that I keep mentioning that matter. The side, everything is all soft touch. Heck, even if I put my hand into here, it's all soft touch materials. It's extremely soft. It feels sturdy. It feels like it'll last you a long time. Also with the seats back here, guys, there's a little handle right here. You can actually fold down the seats in a 60-40 fashion. It's, it's one of the most spacious cars 
in its in this category mostly because the other new global architecture that just it just got some it just took advantage of it this model year for this RAV4 it's something that underpins the Prius it underpins the Camry and it just helps you get a, a longer wheelbase uh, usually uh, better rigidity it, it helps it a lot with the car in regards to gas mileage and everything too but let me go ahead and walk around you can sit in the driver's seat so you guys can check that out again the exterior is just it's great it's wonderful so they used to <laughs> there used to be a thing for these cars where i guess you can say you know and i don't mean this in no way you know bias but most of the people that bought this vehicle were gals so now what toyota is aiming for is 50 50 you know they're aiming for 50 percent of males and 50 percent of females to purchase the vehicle instead of you know 65 35 or whatever it was before but going inside you can see right away you've got memory seats you've got all one touch windows so they roll down with one touch and you know they, they come up with one touch as long as you pull on it enough it does have full uh, power seats of course you can tell just because of the memory seats we've got other little functions this is one of the things that every uh, manufacturer for the most part is going to uh, they're putting this uh, that like stands up instead of you know integrated before I, I love it. I, I think it's wonderful. Uh, it also gives you more uh, space visibility in the front. So that's one of the things that's definitely a pro. Let's, let's go ahead and turn it on. It is a push button. So you press the brake. Press the button right up here. There it is. So this is one of the things that you see every single day when you drive this vehicle. So, you know, it better be nice. <laughs> so the the gauges are super nice they're super clear the gas is on the top right temperature is one of the things that some manufacturers are going away from for whatever reason they don't it's strange to me but hey it is what it is maybe toyota will do it in five ten years so i can't bash on it again toyota is usually late to the party but when they arrive to the party everyone knows they're there um but it does have that it has its rpms on the left and it's got this big old gauge right in in front miles per hour and it's also got this little uh it's a it's a little display that you can control through through here you've got different settings and different uh, things you can look at for the music uh, trip distance settings for all the features because guys this is one of the few cars that has been released that has toyota safety sense 2.0 so what that is now it has the same features lane departure alert steering assist now it has two extra things now when you're driving on the road you'll see right on top it'll tell you the speed limit that that road has that's the that's one of the, the the perks that this one has and on top of that instead of the lane departure alert with steering assist that uh it'll beep three times beep 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 and you'll see the steering will try to tug you back into the lane now it keeps you centered in the middle of the lane so it, it uses the same sensors that um all the other toyota uh vehicles at this point besides the forerunner have to keep you inside the lane now it keeps you centered in the lane so that's great it does have other little buttons up here the steering wheel as usual it's a typical toyota thing it feels solid it feels like it will last you you know longer than than your grandchildren i get I, i'm not sure uh, that's bad bad example but it will last you a long time um, you've got other little things right for this 2019 model they gave you this right here and it's all it's almost rubber feeling inside so that's perfect for change or garage door opener stuff like that you've also got a couple of other buttons as mentioned this one has a 360 degree view so if you click that button actually it brings you up here and it does a full 360 degree view around the vehicle itself and you can click on it and stop it pause it and there's other little buttons that you can do different settings so that, that's pretty neat there's also little buttons on the side. That's for your automatic high beams, which is part of the Toyota Safety Sense. There's another video that I'll, I'll upload later to show you guys just exclusively what this is, as long as I get enough views and I'm still active here, which I, sh I should be. This is for the power lift gate right over here to open the trunk, the, the trunk, the hood, I mean. It's right down there. Sorry, this this truck was actually brought to us from another dealership, so someone drove it already. That That's why it's got, you know, 106 miles. It's dealer trade. But um, once you come over here, one of the things you'll notice, check these out. These are rubber, guys. That's the first I've seen, you know, some, uh, an option that, that has rubber. It's, it's extremely long lasting. They'll definitely last a long time. These two, 
these right here they're as mentioned they're all rubber so it feels great you you can't miss it for sure um one of the strange things with toyota is they put the traction control right here right next to the heated seats it's a little strange for me but the good thing about it is you don't ever really turn off the traction control in this car so that's that but um you, you've got a couple of other uh, options right here of course the heated seats for both the passenger and the driver uh, another thing you have down here that's the chi wireless charging so you turn this bad boy on the light turns green you can set your phone on top and it charges wirelessly as long as you have a capable device it charges pretty quick and this light actually turns yellow so that's one way to find out it's also got another usb and auxiliary right in here and another 12 volt right there so you can you know play with something in case uh you have a light show or something that you know you, you need to pull some power from it's also got one right in here speaking of inside here the space is not too big but you can remove this it's it's some it's all right you know for for what it is so let me go ahead and close this up this is kind of strange the cup holder they're really big though so they're massive you can't can't miss it not sure why this space is here i'm sure one of you guys can leave a comment you know tell me what the, we can really put there it doesn't really fit much but you do have economy mode normal mode and sport mode uh, economy mode it gives you about 70 percent throttle response the rpm stay as low as possible you'll notice the ac actually goes back a little it doesn't uh, blow out as cold it's all to preserve its uh gas mileage specifically so you've got normal mode and you've got sport once you click it in sport you'll actually notice that everything turns red and green for economy economy so that, that's one way to find out you know what, what mode you're in you've also got the brake hold system sorry low power mode on my phone so you've also got the brake hold system you can press that down and now at a red light or something uh, the car won't go anywhere unless you press the accelerator then it'll start going picking back up speed got dual climate control you've got uh, front and uh, rear defrost uh, you've got a, a set ton of different options right here you just have to play around with all these little buttons of course the emergencies are up here and this one if this one is the fully loaded model this one has a, a jbl package as well so it does have a, a standard subwoofer jbl premium audio it's got remote connect services which are right up here the remote connect services so now it dispatches an officer to you or something whenever you get into a car accident or whenever you actually need help you can just click on that and they'll ask you hey what you know what do you need it for you've got some space in here and that's just a glass holder now this is one of the things that uh, toyota really really surprised me with and that's these two little buttons right here this one right here and this one right over here so that actually some of you guys may know that from the 2018 camry guess what you're absolutely right it is in fact for the panoramic roof I'm extremely excited about this, extremely excited. I'm a big lover of sunroofs, moonroofs, any option like that. Um, I, I think it's nice because when it rains like such as today, it might rain a little later. You want to be driving, you can't have the windows down because water comes in a little bit. Now, if you have the panoramic roof open or the moonroof, you know, anything like that, water can't really come in because you're driving, you still get a fresh breeze of air. It's awesome, I personally think so, but hey, that's just me. Some people don't care about it. But um, there is a couple of other options down here as well. You have different menu modes, you have map mode because this one does come with navigation, dynamic navigation. This is the newest navigation from Toyota. But even on the entry level model ones, you get Scout GPS, which is free. It just uses the data uh, from your phone. It, so you get navigation on every single model, but this right here is the creme de la creme. This is as good as it gets for Toyota. You have different apps as well because now you finally have Apple CarPlay. So you just connect your phone to a USB, this USB. It has to be this USB, not this, these other ones down here. Um, give me one second. Sorry, guys. One of the guys wanted to, uh, the, the customers are here that, the, you know, they kind of wanted to <laughs> check out this one. I, I, and I seen them look at me when they came in in a RAV4 XLE. They looked at me like they wanted this car. So <laughs> kind of figured, but I'll make this, it, it won't take too much longer. Just wanted to show you what other apps it has. It does have Wi-Fi, so you do get Wi-Fi from Verizon, two gigabytes that are free. After that, you know, you can pay. And it, this uses data from your phone, so you can get fuel prices, sports, the stock market, Yelp reviews, stuff like that, which I know I usually always ask my customers to leave for me. There's a couple things. You do have different audio systems. The audio system in here, it's extremely nice. It goes up to 65 and uh, with this JBL, it's not loud like the Beats, it's not loud like Bose, uh, but it is extremely crisp and clear. 
more than anything you can feel you can hear every single instrument that's my favorite I, i'll choose quality over you know quantity or stuff like that that's why i work at toyota <laughs> so th there's different little little buttons right here that you can click home button so and this th there's different configurations with this but it is the, the newest that toyota has once you keep going down to the right, you'll notice the tweeters are up there and it says JBL, so you won't forget. <laughs> and um, the, the space in here is not too big. Uh, Toyota's uh, manuals always take up all that space. But one of the interesting things that I've seen is this right up here. And I think they got that from the Highlander because the Highlander has a similar thing. Uh, I, I love it. It's rub. It feels like it's rubber, so it, it'll last. You know, it, it's extremely... Give me one second, guys. Someone just came by, but I just wanted to finish this quick video so you guys can see exactly what a fully loaded RAV4 is. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, it does take regular 87. And um, th this one, completely new, as mentioned, it, it does have that four-cylinder engine that most other Camrys and uh, other uh, similar products are coming out. 203 horsepower. You do get the best in class gas mileage. Eight speed transmission derived directly from Lexus. Guys, this is as good as it gets. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop the comments down below. Have a good one, guys.